the output of a rectifier is not a pure DC. It is still having some AC component in that. We need to filter out these AC components to get a pure DC. This filtering action is done by filter circuit. To get a pure DC, we need a filter circuit at the output of a rectifier circuit. The output of a rectifier circuit contains AC plus DC. A capacitor is used here. This capacitor behaves as a filter circuit. The property of a capacitor is that it passes AC and it blocks DC. We have connected a capacitor in parallel with the rectifier circuit. AC plus DC of the rectifier circuit is applied to the capacitor. Capacitor blocks DC and at the output we get a DC whereas it passes AC and the AC gets grounded. So we can improve the output of a rectifier by using a simple capacitor. Suppose we assume that the rectifier used here is a half wave rectifier. The output of that will be shown here and the output of the rectifier is the input to the filter circuit. So the waveform shown here is the input of a filter circuit. Now we will see that how a capacitor action converts a pulsating DC to a pure form of a DC. Capacitor is having a tens tendency to charge and restore that voltage. Until and unless a discharging path is given to the capacitor, it stores the charge. Suppose that there is no voltage stored in the capacitor now. It is having zero voltage. It will start charging when the input has come. It will charge to the peak of the input. The input is going down but the capacitor will try to store that charge. It will store the charge and it will discharge till here then another input will come. Again it will get charged to the peak of the input. Now there is still some ripple but the amount of ripple has been reduced a lot. This is the only ripple now found in the output of a filter circuit. If we uh, add some more capacitors in parallel like this, we can reduce this ripple. So we can only try to reduce the ripple using filter circuit but 100% removal of filter is not possible.